by masking out this building. So I'm going to start off right here. I'm going to go all the way up, as you can see. Move up a little bit more of the, uh, the frame, as you can see. Then go back up again like this. And then just go ahead and mask out. I'm just going to skip those blue things. <laughs> What's happening guys? My name is Alex and it is Wednesday, so we use a brand new Vegas 15 tutorial and you guys are probably wondering like Alex why are you uh, almost for two weeks straight uploading nothing but Vegas? No Photoshop, no Twitch, no Deep Web, uh, no uh, anything else, just Vegas. Well guys, I have so many awesome topics lined up and I know the majority of the people that are watching my channel are subscribed for Vegas tutorials. So I'm just giving you guys a load and loads of Vegas content so you guys can apply to your editing. So it's going to be really simple to become an expert on editing and how to really master the program. So with that being said, I'm going to show you guys exactly in this video how to put text behind objects because it's going to be really, it sounds really difficult. Like how do you even do that don't you need like Photoshop and spend an hour uh, fixing all of that no guys it is gonna be really simple and I know I'm gonna get comments about this but I'm going to do this on an image now if you want to have yourself like like for example like this moving with text right here the only thing you need to do is just mask yourself out you guys know how to mask yourself out if you're standing still like this you just want to mask it and you just if I move it up like this you just you just want to do that frame by frame so I'm just gonna do this on a still image but you guys know how to do that on a moving video just move out every single uh, part frame by frame and that's how to do it so let's go ahead and start off with this Vegas tutorial so I'm gonna just just drag in an image of a nice building so we're gonna put some text behind that so let me drag in that image uh, real quick all right folks as you can see I think this image looks so freaking nice so what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag in that image create a new video track and we're going to pick uh, media generators <clears throat> Whoa, vo little voice crack there what we're gonna do then is we're gonna pick titles and text but I'm going to pick legacy text then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just type in uh, my full name just Alex Alfred, pretty straightforward, and I think the size is also really, really uh, optimal, uh, like right off the bat. So I'm gonna just pick a new font. I'm gonna pick the font Lobster because I think that one is a really cool one. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna make my text uh, be behind this object. So I'm gonna just position this a little bit more uh, like this. Make sure that it is nice and centered like so. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna start off with the masking. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on this little icon which says Ivan Pan Crop. And what we're gonna do then, for now, I'm gonna just uh, just make put the opacity down of the text. And we're gonna focus on masking this, um, this, this, this building. So we're gonna go ahead and click on mask at the bottom. Then we're gonna just go ahead and pick the anchor creation tool and we're gonna just start off by masking out this building. So I'm gonna start off right here. I'm gonna go all the way up, as you can see. Move up a little bit more of the, uh, the frame, as you can see. Then go back up again like this and then just go ahead and mask out. I'm just gonna skip those blue th uh, little things because that's gonna take a, 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 like way too much time for this tutorial. So I'm gonna just keep uh, masking, keep on masking everything out like this, as you can see. Boom, and we're just gonna go ahead and go through this building. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back down again. We're gonna just go ahead and you know do it like this boom and as you can see the building is nice and cut out so what we're going to do then is we're going to duplicate this uh this track duplicate track then the bottom one we're going to reset the mask so we're going to keep the top one uh, masked out and if you guys can see right now this is how it looks now if i put my opacity of the text on if i drag this text guy behind the building boom as you guys clearly can see, there is just Alex Halford behind the object. And like I said at the beginning of this video, this works exactly the same for like, for example, me just sitting right here. You just want to go ahead and mask everything around yourself out. And if I'm moving, yes, it's going to like when you move, it is going to take a lot of time because you have to, if I go like this, you have to do every single frame 
that I'm moving so you will see the text behind the object. So this is a really, really quick and small tutorial about how to do that. You just want to go ahead and make sure that you mask everything out. And if I go ahead and click on this icon, which says generated media, obviously what you can do is you can just go ahead and position the, and place the text to where you want. As you can see, it is going behind that building. And that's how amazing it is, guys. This is how you do that. So I want to thank you guys for watching. I know this is just a really small and simple tutorial, but I just want to keep them short and brief so you guys can just go ahead and implement what I've just shown. So that's it for the video. Thank you guys for liking. Thank you guys for subscribing as well. And I will see you guys tomorrow, just like usual, with a brand new Vegas 15 tutorial. So thank you for the continued support. And obviously, I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Just Alex Halford.